Mm -hmm. That's pretty inexpensive. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So the cheapest option comes with a little i i three processor. So you know it's not bad, but it could be better. What do you, What do you have in the there? The one I have is seven hundred ninety nine dollars. This one has an i5 fourth generation processor, okay. so it's right. up to speed and it's very fast. It's very responsive as well with the touchscreen. It also has eight gigs of RAM instead of four, 128 gig solid state drive. Did I say that right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? SSD. What did I just say? Yeah. And then it also has Bluetooth 4.0 and uh, wireless, of course. Now, the battery on this was pretty darn good. I was very impressed with it, given that this is under $1,000. It can last up to seven hours with pure video playback. That's nice. That's, That's not good. bad. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, it's not bad at all. However, one thing I did not like was the webcam on this guy. Even though it is a 720p webcam, it was not that great because it's only one megapixel. Right. Woohoo. So you can make like Skype calls with it and things like that, but taking pictures with it, it's very fuzzy. So it's not that great. Um, this, I like to consider calling it the younger brother. And I call it a brother, not a sister, because it doesn't come in pink, oh. of the yoga. So we did review the yoga. The yoga was the one that has four different ways that you can set it up. Uh, called modes there was the regular laptop mode there's the tent mode which is sta standing it up on two sides it also had a tablet mode and then it had the display mode so this one only has two modes so it has the regular laptop mode but you can also turn it around no don't oh, do that you're gonna okay. break the hinge that's cute <laughs> like oh and so. you put the keyboard face down and now it's just it's basically like a, a tablet on a stand yeah. yeah so this is really good for it also has a nice physical windows button right there which is i really like is there something keeping the keys from getting there pushed? is so if you look at this oh there's a lip this there. lip like right that. here is just thick enough to keep the keys from sitting directly on a table so it does keep those nice and safe and sound whenever you do stick it in display mode i actually do like this display mode it's very nice for just you know making skype calls or if you want to do some social networking something that doesn't really involve the keyboard so you can just sit there and go like this back and forth and since the touch screen is very responsive i had no problems with it i actually did not miss tablet mode at all but a lot of people would probably consider that a con given tablet mode would be probably a lot easier to just bend it backwards and then sit there with your thumbs mm -hmm. and move around. So I'll move it back to the regular mode. So it's kind of yoga mode. light. It doesn't do it quite yes. as many positions. So that's why like they call it the flex. Class. It can only flex back and forth, yeah, and that's, that's basically it. it. No it also, downward dog for it me. Feels, <laughs> it feels nice and sturdy, so it wiggles just a little bit, but once you put it in its place, it doesn't move around very much. It has nice rubber bottoms to it. The top is nice and rubberized, so you don't have any problems there. It does pick up some scratches. You'll notice a few scratches here and there because it is a review one. You know, Lots of people have tested this out. And it comes in two different colors. There's this gray color along the side. There's also an orange version. So no pink, unfortunately, <laughs> for me. Orange is uh, weird enough. Uh, that's... I actually like the orange one. Yeah. I saw that at a, uh, at a PR meeting with Lenovo, and I was like, wow, that orange that's is bright. very pretty. Yeah. yeah, it looks, it almost gives it kind of a gaming laptop feel. So I, I really liked it personally. Um, it is four pounds, so it's heavier. You're going to notice that you won't want to keep it in your bag for a long time because it is very heavy. And also, the resolution on this guy is rather low compared to other 14-inch no, laptops. No, no. Tell me it's not 1366. It is. It is. Oh, you're yeah. killing And you know, I think the world's moved on. Even Microsoft yeah. now isn't doing that anymore. Yeah, yeah which was very unfortunate. And yeah. the even the brightness on this, this is as bright as it gets. It doesn't get any brighter than that. And if I compare that to, for example... And I'll just pull up my desktop on here. Yeah, if I compare your Mac that to is my much Mac, brighter. Yeah. Yeah. way mm, bright, bright screen, bright. way big difference between the two. So unfortunately, it is a little bit lower on that end. So I'll go ahead and pull up my pros and cons for you. I have just a few to go through. So the pros on this, loud and clear speakers. I really like the speakers on the. They are located on the bottom, and they get really loud. I like that. Um, it basically just brings the sound out straight towards you instead of muffling it at the bottom since it's right on the curve. So not bad there. Dual mode design is really cool. Excellent battery life at seven hours is really nice. Um, the touchpad is a little strange. So on the cons, when I click on this, you'll notice that it deepens really far. It feels like it's hollow underneath the right and left click. So down here, you can see how far I have to press my finger mm -hmm. down, and you have and to press it, like it very hard. It looks like the board's buckling a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's it, not the it looks thing really ever. strange. So that bothered me a lot because I don't click that hard. So I ended up just using the 
regular touchpad click whenever I, I needed to pull up something. Mm -hmm. So I would just click up here instead of using the physical right and left buttons. Very weird for me. Also, of course, the resolution and the brightness on this, and there's no tablet mode option, which may be a problem for some people. But personally, if I was looking for a lower end product, a, a lower end machine. laptop. To find out more about this fantastic offer by clicking the link in the description.